After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Did I sell my soul? I sold my soul for you. Now figure that out. Tell me that I sell my soul. I sold my soul for you. For all you motherfuckers that's on here, that's asked me that I sell my soul, why the fuck is y'all on here if y'all think I sold my soul? Y'all coming right with me, you dummies. You're still out here doing these songs, you know, you're still on tour. I do, but I don't take it for granted. Why do you still do it? Why are you still out here? Well, it goes back to the destiny thing. I mean, I made a bargain with it, you know, a long time ago, and I'm holding up my hand. What was your bargain? To get where um, I am now. Sh should I ask who you made the bargain with? <laughs> with, 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 you know, with the chief, uh, chief commander. On this earth? <laughs> and on this earth and in, uh, and then in a world we can't see. Bob Dylan has been... Um, ...because I grew up in uh, you know, a household where all I ever did was listen to gospel music and my parents are both traveling ministers. And so I kind of sang about you know what was going on in my life at 15 and... That's how I got introduced to the music industry. Because I swear I wanted to be like the Amy Grant of music. Yeah. <laughs> but it didn't work out, and so I sold my soul to the devil.
fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And not surely eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, you were both in skull and bone to the secret society. Fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And not surely eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes... You were both in skull and bone to the secret society. <laughs> now for these flames, which hither ye have fought from regions where I reign, ye fools and priests, I spit upon your fire. <laughs> It's so sick that we can't talk about it. What does that mean for America? The conspiracy theorists are going to go wild. Sure they are. I haven't seen the web. Number three two two. Lightning doesn't strike twice in the same place. Where's Robbie? I don't know. that Aleister Crowley, who was a Satanist, who called himself the B-666, as I just mentioned, he claimed to have contact with some kind of alien um, named Lamb. And this Lamb, he drew a picture of this, this alien that he was in contact receiving messages from. For the number of years in the past, have basically used his philosophy and his writings as a guide. Pages of a book with them. This guy was probably the most highly honored mason in the world. He styled himself the wickedest man in the world. He believed himself to be the great beast. And he changed his name to Aleister Crowley so he could, it would add up in both English, 
Hebrew and Greek Kabbalah as 666. So-called alien entities, whatever they are, had made denials about Christianity um, when they were speaking to, you know, various uh, abductees, contactees, whoever. And what Ray found was that in a number of cases, it was always Christianity that was targeted rather than any other religions. It was always that one that was being criticized. And Ray kind of perceived it as being the, you know, the as he saw it, sort of the two true forces, good and evil, you know, the, the Christian belief system and, you know, the minions of Satan squaring up against each other. And, the, and he, he felt that the denial of Christianity by these entities was evidence that they're probably not extraterrestrial because they were focusing on just one. The word demon is from the Greek language and means knowledge. The demon knowledge is greater than man's. Later explained, it was as if Adolf was possessed by a demon. The following is a quote by Gregor Strasser. Listening to Hitler one suddenly has a vision of one who will lead mankind to glory. A light appears in a dark window, a gentleman with a comic little mustache turns into an archangel. The archangel flies away, and there is Hitler sitting down, bathed in sweat with glassy eyes. François Ponset, ambassador from France to Nazi Germany said, he entered into a sort of mediumistic trance. Hitler was especially afraid of this entity at night. He would come for Hitler while he slept and dreamed. Schwarzenegger is the son of a Nazi, he has praised Nazis, he has praised Hitler, mimicking Nazi tactics, and time is running out. In a larger global organization, known by many as the Illuminati, its symbol is a skull and crossbones and the number 322. Skull and bones is the name used by the uninitiated, or non-members. The true name of the organization is the Order of Death, or the Order of the Death Set. George Bush and John Kerry have both been initiated in the same way. They swore an oath to the tomb, to the order of death above all others, and to wage eternal war against all of humanity. Schwarzenegger is a reported visitor to the Bohemian Grove, as well as former president Jimmy Carter. with one eye, his left eye, and in the right eye. 